talked earlier with Damon Wilson. He's executive vice president at the Atlantic Council. We had a day today in which Washington and Moscow basically went back and forth over, you have to move first, no, you have to move first, or you have to get your people to move first. We're kind of in a stalemate at the moment, aren't we? Yeah, I, I don't know if it's a stalemate. I think what's disconcerting is right now we have a, a, a narrative coming out of the, the Russian side that has turned things completely around. This crisis wouldn't be unfolding if it weren't for President Putin's strategy right now. Forces on the border, uh, special operation forces inside Ukraine, helping to foment this unrest. Uh, and yet, despite the Russians' fingerprints on what's unfolding, to turn the rhetoric around and actually now blame Ukraine for not being able to maintain security, there's an incredible degree of irony in, in the propaganda line. But we had this deal last week in Geneva, and yet we have Moscow today saying, listen, until you get your forces in Kiev to behave in the way we want to do, we're not going to tell the people who are in Donetsk occupying buildings to back down. So where does this go? Well, this is if there was any political will to, to try to implement Geneva, it would take one statement from President Putin to, to calm the situation, to pull back both the political pressure and the actual pressure on the ground. Um, you mean get the people out of those buildings? That's right. That's right. This is uh, uh, this this crisis exists because of his strategy. So where do we go right now? I mean, this is why Vice President Biden is there. This is an effort on the United States' part to both support uh, a Ukraine, to support a new government in Ukraine. Uh, but this is really about trying to deter Putin from escalating his objectives. He's pushing, and he's pushing to see how far he can get away with. Uh, his actions. And I think Vice President Biden's trips is meant to sort of send this signal uh, of strong U.S. support. We haven't taken our eyes off this one since That's you right. went to Crimea. That's right. What, what are the next steps for the White House? Though? I mean, they can carry on talking to Putin. They can carry on talking to Lavrov and saying you have to do the things we need to do to de-escalate the tension there. If we live with this situation, though, how does this pan out? So if it stays at the level of us talking about this, I think Putin's going to continue pushing. He's going to push the envelope here. Uh, I think what's going to play out, what he needs to see, um, certainly are the costs to, to, to Russia. And so this but is the round. Mean putting tougher sanctions on That's right, right now. That's right. That's what's in play. Uh, the rhetoric has been if Russia escalates, right. we will escalate. Well, in many respects, Putin, uh, Putin understands that. So this is the Russian invasion of Ukraine. So you would say the moment for tougher sanctions on sectors of the Russian economy has already come. That's right. That's right. He, he knows that he, if he can avoid a tank rolling across the border, everybody understands a tank. Everybody understands that that would trigger this. So if he can stay just below that um, and still ach achieve his objectives by destabilizing the government of Ukraine, perhaps hiving off part of the East, he'll pursue that policy. Could Washington, with the status quo as it is, get Europe on board to impose tough sanctions? So I think, I think yes. I think there is a step that could be taken now uh, in response to what's playing out in, in Ukraine's East for sanctions. But it's actually more important. That's a little, that's punishing Russia. The deterrence of Russia, the deterrence of Putin needs to then reflect a broader, more comprehensive strategy. What we're doing on our energy policies, how we're reinvigorating the NATO alliance, the support we're actually offering Ukraine to help it not just survive, but thrive. That, that creates more of a strategic response to Putin's actions. Okay, Dan Wilson, fascinating. Thanks very much for coming in. Thank you. My pleasure.